Ty again with Turner's Treasures and Mysteries. Um, I've been promising uh, another sword box, and I've got a, a mystery box for my father. Again, he buys these, and I just, uh, he allows me to open them up. He's not going to be on this one because he had to work tonight. I do have some other stuff before I open up the actual mystery box because I don't know what's in them. But on the last sword video, if you guys remember, it was a while back now, I, uh, I was talking about some other stuff that I had, and I'm going to go ahead and show that stuff. I've got an actual morning star that my dad got me a couple birthdays ago. Um, pretty heavy duty. As you can see, you can do some serious damage with that. Each uh, spike is able to screw on or screw off if you need to remove one for whatever reason or cleaning. Uh, if you uh, decided to attack a zombie with that, if need be. It's pretty... Uh, Pretty awesome, pretty heavy duty. It is steel, so if you needed to use it, it would hold up. Um, and then, as I uh, mentioned the last one, I I have an actual Ichigo sword. If you guys are anime fans or Bleach fans, specifically, that's where this is from. This sword itself is probably... Uh, by the way, this is the box. You can see it's it's ginormous. It's huge. I can't actually get the whole box on it. The blade itself is probably roughly four feet. And uh, I'll stand it up to me. I'm exactly six foot tall. It's sitting on the ground. And it's pretty much at the side of me. So that gives you an idea how huge this thing is. I'm going to untie it and show you. The details of this beast before I actually go into the uh, mystery box of this video. Just showing you some cool stuff. This one I don't really know where he got it. Was like uh, it's like uh, some random uh, website where he got this. It's not very many places you can get this specific sword. So I actually tried looking it up again. And uh, I couldn't find it. So, this is really cool. There's the handle alone. As you can see, the handle alone is a good foot and a half. Maybe, maybe two feet. I can't really tell. I'm going to pull it all the way out. Show you this monster. Okay, as you can see, I'm trying to get this whole thing on here. It's hard to get it as this thing is a monster. It's the biggest sword I've ever seen. As far as length goes. That's what she said! I'm going to pull it out of the hilt. Or the sleeve, I should say. It's really hard to get the whole thing out. This thing is solid steel and it is a uh, full tank. So, but because it's so long, I don't know if it would be functional as far as actually using. You can see the end there, it's still got some oil on it. I'm trying to show you this whole thing. There's the end of it. Show you that. It's got the little chain you can hook something up with. But this thing is sharp cut butter with this bad boy or flesh if you wanted to it's pretty awesome my dad got this for me for one of my birthdays because he knew I was an Ichigo fan so we'll go ahead and put that back in there just wanted to show you guys a really really cool sword sit that in the corner for now hopefully it doesn't fall down now we're going to get to the actual mystery box. Because, as you know, that's what my channel does. Turner's Treasures and Mysteries. This one is pretty short. Anything short compared to that last one, but... I'm thinking this one might actually be either two small swords, from what my father was saying. Or, um, 
Maybe an actual uh, ninja sword, because they're usually shorter. Okay, it looks like it's, uh, it says Combat Commander, United Cutlery Brand, All Rights Reserved. Nothing but paper packing in here. As you can see, on that Commander. It says the Century Trench Saber. It says the same thing on the other side. Um, get this slides out of here. Yep. All right, this is pretty cool. It's got like a, a handle on it. Oh, that's awesome. I really like that. I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic. This was well, you know what? No, it's actually pretty sealed. Can come out because I can tell by the the detail of this it's really pound brat sensory and it's got a really cool handle on there for pit sticking your fingers in to grasp it and again each these are fifty dollars a month some of them are worth more than a, than the others but this is 1065 high carbon steel Another zombie killer. <laughs> I hope my dad likes this one. I know when they give him the small ones, he's not as impressed. That's what she said. The, like the last sword he got was the Mashan sword from uh, The Walking Dead, her katana, which is really cool. Um, it's hard to top that, obviously. But, uh,. That's about it. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Again, these are from True Sword. If you want to check them, check them out, fifty dollars a month. These other two things my dad ordered from other stuff. I just wanted to show those to you because I uh, I talked about them. If you guys uh, want one of those, I can ask my father where he actually bought them, and I'll uh, give you guys a link or send it to you. But besides that, I have. Uh, Almost reached 100 as this video started. I was at um, 100 subscribers, Ho or not 100 subscriber, but 97. I'm reach hopefully reach 100 by tomorrow morning, and uh, first milestone in my YouTube uh, journey to make this my full time gig and loving this. I already enjoy this all the time. I love buying stuff. I love opening it's like Christmas every day, buying, selling, learning new stuff. Uh, making new friends, talking to people all over the world and country. Uh, again, subscribe, like, comment. Um, send me a message if you want to chat. Later. Like your bell cut.